Hello friends, welcome back to Multi Question World. Today we are going to discuss the second part of the module 4. Classification of bacteria, sterilization method, culture media, culture methods, identification of bacteria, staining, biochemical and serological techniques are included in this video. Let us start. Question number 16. VDRL test is A. Option A. Slide agglutination test. Option B. Slide precipitation test. Option C. Slide flocculation test. And Option D. Tube agglutination test. VDRL test is coming under which of the following category? The right answer is Option C. Slide flocculation test. Next question, which among the following is a false statement? Option A, fimbria are seen on motile and non-motile cells. Option B, fimbriated bacteria form surface pellicle in liquid media. Option C, fimbria serves to anchor bacteria in nutritionally favorable environment. Option D, fimbria are not antigenic. Which among the following is a false statement? The right answer is option D. Fimbria are not antigenic is the false statement. Fimbriae are antigenic. Question number 18. Spore bearing bacilli. Option A. Bacillus. Option B. Streptococcus. Option C. Corine bacterium. Option D. Brucella. Which of the following is a spore bearing bacilli? The right answer is option A. Bacillus. Bacillus anthracis is an example. Question number 19. Spores are stained by Option A. Modified Seal Nielsen Technique Option B. Gram stain Option C. LPCB or Lactophenol Cotton Blue Staining Option D. Negative Staining The right answer is Option A. Modified Seal Nielsen Technique Next question, bacteria have maximum size in the option A, end of lag phase, option B, log phase, option C, stationary phase, option D, phase of decline. Bacteria have maximum size in which of the following stages of growth? The right answer is end of lag phase. Bacteria have maximum size at the end of lag phase. Question number 21. Most bacteria of medical importance are Option A. Obligate aerobes Option B. Obligate anaerobes Option C. Facultative anaerobes Option D. None. Most bacteria of medical importance are coming under which of the following category? The right answer is Option C. Facultative anaerobes. Most bacteria of medical importance are Facultative anaerobes. Question number 22. Negative staining is useful in the demonstration of Option A. Cell wall Option B. Spores Option C. Capsules Option D. Flagella Negative staining is used for the demonstration of Capsules. The right answer is option C. Capsules. Negative staining is useful for demonstration of capsules. Question number 23. Counter stain used in Seal Nielsen's method of staining. Option A. Carbol fuchsin. Option B. Methylene blue. Option C. Crystal violet. Which of the following is used as a counter stain in Seal Nielsen's method? The right answer is option B, methylene blue. Methylene blue is the counter stain used in ZN method or Seal Nielsen staining method. Question 24, cell wall deficient bacteria. Which of the following is cell wall deficient bacteria? Option A, rickettsia. Option B, chlamydia. Option C, mycoplasma.
the right answer is option c mycoplasma cell wall deficient bacteria is mycoplasma question number 25 glass wares are sterilized by option a hot air oven option b autoclave option c incinerator option d boiling which of the following sterilization method is used for glass wares The right answer is option A, hot air oven. Hot air oven is used for sterilization of glasswares. Question number 26. Motility can be detected by using option A, MMM or mannitol motility media, option B, MIU or motility indole urea, option C is sulfur indole media, option D, all of the above. The right answer is option D, all of the above. All of these methods can be used for motility testing. Question number 27. Plasmids are responsible for option A, cell growth, option B, cell division, option C, cell respiration, option D, drug resistance. Plasmids are responsible for which of the following function? The right answer is option D, drug resistance. Plasmids are responsible for drug resistance. Next question. A disease constantly present in an area. Option A, epidemic. Option B, endemic. Option C, pandemic. Option D, none of the above. The right answer is option B, endemic. A disease constantly present in an area is called as endemic disease. Today we are winding up. You can watch the previous videos from playlist. A special playlist is created for the exam. You can watch it from description box. If you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe the channel. Thank you.